Well, as you can see, the cook is now over. Still smoking in there, so you can't hardly see the chicken. I'll pull this drawer out. I just took them. Oh, that's some beautiful chicken. That is beautiful, isn't it? That, and it looks so good. Um, actually, I'm taking this on my cell phone. I got that new Galaxy Note 3. So uh, it does real good. It takes really nice pictures. And um, I'm getting ready to pull, those, pull that chicken out of there. And it's still smoking nicely up in there. Uh, now, I'll shut it down now. Shut the gas off. <laughs> Pull it out. And it's still smoking nicely there. Look at that clean flame, man. Now, I'm going to shut him down. So, that's it. Cook is over with. And, uh, by the way, with this, with this cooker right here, a lot of people don't like to leave their... Um, uh, meat on a long time with smoke on it but with this cooker right here with the water like it is I can smoke this 13 14 hours just like it's smoking and never over smoke the meat uh, and also if I wanted to use this for an oven all I have to do is just uh, you know if I wanted to wrap something or uh, I don't have to just take the pot out and just use it for an oven. It burns so clean. Uh, you know, it's really a clean burning uh, smoker here. So I can just use it as an oven. Or if I don't want any more smoke on something, I want to leave it hanging up there. I can leave it hanging up there. And uh, I can leave it hanging until it's so tender it just fall off right down onto the first uh, drawer. Onto the second drawer. Well, actually, this is the first drawer. But this is my hanging drawer I call it where I hang the meat and as you can see so you can see the rods up there now I think uh, I said 26 or 27 inches but they're almost 30 inches long I have about 28 inches that I could slide meat on it and I could put ribs on here you know I St. Louis them up or if I had um, baby backs I could slide them over there on here and just have them like an inch apart are not even quite an inch apart, just where they're not touching each other. And I can put them all the way across here and have this whole side right here that I'm pointing at. I can have ribs all up and down that side and ribs all up and down this side. And they're, they can go side by side. They never touch each other. Spaced out just right. So there you have it, folks. It's a beautiful file cabinet smoker. And um, uh, I'm really proud of this one. I mean, it just turned out uh very 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 well i mean to me pretty much per perfect and as you can see it's really smoking now because there's no um no fire on it so well i'm wrapping it up and i guess she'll smoke herself on out i got that log in there it's practically a new log i don't want to put water on it i got a lot of them around here so i'll just let it burn itself out and uh Shoot, if I had something else to cook on here, man, I can cook a whole lot. I can cook a lot. I mean, I can just, and I still have a half a tank of gas. So I've been cooking on this tank of gas for a good while, for days. And uh, I'm probably already approaching the 20-hour mark, pretty much. And still got over half a tank left. So, I mean, I could get, like I say, 30-plus hours out of one tank. And if you're going to build a smoker, that's the way you should build it. I, like I said, I see these guys with these little Coleman gas burners inside of a smoker. And then they got this little uh, dinky hose that's going through the front of it or the side, or however they put it. And then for the air vents, you know, they don't even put... Not, the one guy I saw, he put nice vent like on top like this one. But for the air vent on the side, he just got a little Mickey Mouse deal where you put a screw drill two little holes with a drill what kind of ventilation is that when i did this one and i did the air vents on this i wanted to make sure that it was enough air coming in this thing because you don't want to play with propane if propane go out in some kind of way that sucker light i mean it's like a bomb and it'll blow up so each i got six holes on each side each hole uh, is one inch in diameter around so they're very large holes you know and I got I have six of them on this side six on that side and when I open it all the way up I mean this thing that's why you can see the smoke just zoom just 
coming out of the top has very good airflow and that's why I close one off and it still has very good airflow so I don't never have to worry about the propane going out and uh, very efficient smoker and you can build one just like this It's very easy I mean my wife's talking about oh, you should patent the thing patent it for what I mean it's a file cabinet you know if I do something like that then the people who uh, patent the file cabinet and who made the file cabinet here they come with their hands out I mean you know People want nice smokers. I mean, if you're into smoking like I am, I've been doing it for quite a while. If you're into smoking like I am, you want a smoker that's going to be very fuel efficient and that smoke barbecue perfectly like this one does. And uh, I mean, from the water pan to everything, the water pan is phenomenal. Um, it just keeps the right amount of moisture on that meat to where you never, I ha, I didn't not one time did not, ah, oh, that's perfect English. Uh, not one time did I put, uh, any spray bottle or did I spray this meat or anything. And it's just as moist and juicy as it could be right now. So there you have it, folks. I think on one of my, um, videos, like, like I said, this is my first time doing this. On one of my videos, I believe what I'll do is um, post my email on there that I don't use that much. And uh, maybe even I have a a phone number that a uh, phone I really don't use. It's an extra spare phone. And I give that one out, you know, in case somebody want to get some prank calls or, you know, get on there talking crazy. I don't care because we'll never use that one anyway. It's just like a spare phone. So um, I'll probably give that number out. And if you want to call me and talk to me, I like to help people. Uh, I like to tell people my secrets, which my wife gets very upset about it. But, you know, hey, we're all smoking brothers. So if I can help you out and help you build yourself a really, really nice, efficient smoker, I don't have a problem with it. So there you have it. It's been nice. Now I'm going in here and eat this chicken and some of these ribs. Let me see, what time is it? Yeah, 7.17. And I think I started this at yeah, around almost 4 o'clock. Uh, 3.45, I think. So uh, very efficient cooking smoker. And I mean, they're, they're competition style ribs. I mean, you bite into them. I just had one. Bite into them. And only your teeth mark, nothing is pulling off on the string, stringy or anything. It's just a perfect teeth mark in the rib, perfectly smoked. So there you have it. And like I said, I'll post another video and probably put my phone number in there. So until then, smoking brothers, take care and sisters. Take care and God bless you.